Hi there, Signs of Aries. This is Kim here to do your reading. It's going to be your next 48-hour reading. I'm going to pull a breakthrough spread for you today. It has six spots and should help you identify a pattern that you need to break free, break free from. I can't talk. Um, the Wild Unknown Alchemy deck is what I'm going to use for the, the main like breakthrough card. And then I'm going to pull a few different decks. So let's use Tarot. I take, um, just so you're aware, I take uprights on this particular spread because truly they can be, they can be read all kinds of ways. So there's the card for your pattern, your challenge, your breakthrough, Aries power card, Aries outcome card, and Aries advice card. And I always invite uh, your spirit team, your angels, your guides. So as long as we have positive messages here, that is what, what I try to have is positivity for you. Aries, your breakthrough, your power outcome, and your advice card. Okie dokie. And the Kipper deck. Just give it a little shuffle. Power card. Outcome. Your advice. You know what? I'm gonna put this over here, and then just two more decks. <laughs> it makes it for it makes for a fun reading. So, messages to stories. Also, if you're interested in a private reading and you like this. Um, check out the website in the description box and you can have a private reading. And last but not least, tea leaves. shuffle that's why I'm <laughs> that's why I'm kind of looking awkward with them okay so Aries what do we have with your pattern oh well what are you coming back to hmm I have the owl good advice from a wise person maybe somebody coming to you for advice the child card in the Lenormand can't, it, it's usually a metaphor for a new beginning, but it can be a child if you relate to that. So maybe it's giving advice or getting advice on a commitment, maybe to do with the child. Um, here is the marriage card, something coming together. And confidence here, maybe even a little aggression with the scorpion is confidence confidence and the three of wands is that you are um your ships are coming in so it's about visualizing and having confidence and possibly a pattern of getting advice from a wise person hmm. may have to do with the hierophant energy too there with that marriage card it can be a, um, a contract a commitment you know that has to do with um anything business or or uh pleasure Excuse me, I need some more coffee. <laughs> Three of Cups is your challenge with the lizard. The lizard is some telepathy. And the courthouse. And the mediator, there you go. And the teardrops, great personal sorrow. What is past is past. Um, and it's like 
yes, this was painful. Whatever this was, this was painful. Um, but the challenge is we need to move forward and celebrate. Um, maybe going to get something official and the mediator is definitely getting advice when it comes to either a marriage or a child uh, or having to do with something with legalities. It's getting good advice. It will bring you towards abundance and celebration. The courthouse, well, we all know what the courthouse is, right? So have coagulation is your breakthrough. Okay, so you have a lot of other things stuck to your situation that maybe you weren't even intending to get stuck, <laughs> but they did. And so now it's about um, getting through something that feels like a traffic jam. And you do. Um, this is the Leo energy. It's beautiful attributes of, uh, <laughs> I want to say being on your high horse, but in a good way, like having appreciation, recognition, um, a victory come to you. The Cobra is uh, bringing a lot of healing. It may even be defensiveness towards poor family. Do you see this? This is all... This is giving me all reptile and, <laughs> I mean, cause, so this is like the telepathy, right? And the cobra, let me look up the cobra. I mean, do you see this? A cobra is part of your breakthrough. The scorpion is, is a fighter. It's confident. And then it's like, you're the official person here. You're the one. You're the master number 22. You may be master number 22 within numerology. That's funny. Um, so Cobra, I'm going to look up, but I, I have a feeling that has to do with healing and family. And it might have to do with a woman energy, um, feminine energy, one that is outside yourself with it being the 29. It's not, it's not usually representing you, but if you do rep, if you feel like you're, you know, you've got entangled with somebody else and, and maybe that is you. So you're the official person and you will also be shown the way. Even the leaders have angels that show them the way. All right. That's neat. <laughs> I didn't even, I just um, thought of that. Even, even um, official people have angels to help them. Okay. So Cobra, Fiery. These are all animals that can attack. Have you noticed this? that can attack or that's what they're kind of known for is okay okay here we go cobra this says pausing waiting the inner teacher a student of life if it's out of balance it can be a know-it-all egocentric person <laughs> um what would it feel like to know that you could be a student again? So these are guides along your path trying to help you get the success and victory that you want. Hmm. Let's move let's move on. Okay, so your breakthrough has to do with um getting unstuck. Well I'll just sum it up like that. Unstuck. Your power card is mountain, major challenge to overcome. I feel like you have already overcome these challenges. That's why it's in your power position. So you have climbed the mountain before, basically. There is an ending that it might be necessary for you with the coffin. It might be necessary to accept an ending of, or the leaving of a person, place, or situation out of your life. Oh my God, seriously? You saw me shuffle these, right? <laughs> this is crazy. Leo got the exact same thing. <laughs> they were just opposite. The The coffin for Leo ended up being here and, and this one ended up being here. I mean, the endings was here and the coffin was up there. So you have two coffins. Wow. Possibly getting over the death of somebody close to you. This is a motherly energy with the deer. It doesn't have to be male or female specifically, but it, it is about being loving, nurturing, and um, all of that, right? Oh, wow, wow. 
And then I have the star because everything's going to be a-okay with the star. Everything is going to be a-okay. You may be in the spotlight for um, doing so much. I mean, you may be getting notoriety, even fame for something. It's part of your power is that you go, you know what your dreams are and you achieve them. Hope is like your middle name. You know you know there's always hope and you know that you always achieve whatever it is that you really want. That is the confident way, isn't it? And of course, th so this is why you have all of these fighting spirits here. You have a power of being very gentle, okay? That is your power. But <laughs> the other energies that you have around you are here specifically to help you fight for something. Hmm. That's interesting. So your outcome is that you will fight for something, but you're going to win and you're going to make it look effortless and graceful with the swan. I love how this is telling the story just perfectly. Like the swan is, is elegance. It's gracefulness. It's effortless creativity. Being viewed as that, being viewed as a tough person, a, a tough cookie, a fighter in the community, part of a community being seen for your beauty in a community. You also have the good gent, which is, um, it could be a card that represents a father or a brother or a friend, but, but this person is a good person, um, benevolent and kind, kind of like the King of Cups energy. Um, and then I have younger man dealings or relationship with a younger man. So, that could be a child too, so could be talking about that, so whatever that is. Your advice, bag that stuff up. <laughs> Something important, such as a new job or a race. High honors, because you have a lot of respect in this reading. You, you certainly do. You certainly do. You're respected, you're viewed. I, I get that from the um, the community and the good gent, too, is that you're viewed in the community, too, is very good. Oh, no, imprisonment. What is this about? Usually the imprisonment card is, if it's advice, then it's advice to break free from any kind of self-limiting beliefs that you might have. Not put limits on what you can achieve. Not put limits on what you can achieve. The wolf brings us back to the pack, back to uh, family. And then the king of swords. Who is that? If it's it, so it's advice. So it's about being disciplined. It's about being structured. It's like it's about order and structure, and it might be regarding within the family. Um, this could be an expert, like a, a lawyer or advice from a lawyer and stuff like that. So I don't know. It, it, it has to do with family and it has to do with that. So look, this is the first one that I'm having to do clarification on, but I've got to find out what imprisonment is meaning for you here. Because I'm curious. Got, any, got something stuck to you. We're feeling stuck in a situation. Feeling stuck in a situation. Aquarius energy coming out once, twice, three times. A lady. <laughs> That's a song. Once, twice, three times a lady. <laughs> what is imprisonment about? Something not being fair, something not being... Even in a way, like ethically not fair or something is not reciprocal. It's not an equal give and take. The Six of Pentacles is something that has to be balanced out. This could be balanced out in a courthouse or through another high level commitment here. Taurus energy, possibly. All right, so whatever is not fair or Self-love will help you. Give yourself self-love. You'll start seeing more of that in your life. Reflect back to you. Plan. And know that there are more possibilities here than maybe what you have opened yourself up to. Watch out for 
information or some some kind of information that's supposed to help with your decision or with your planning because misinformation is here or miscommunication lies on purpose trickery foolery maliciousness needing to get your own research and don't worry you can do it because you got the magician you have the magician so if there's something you're trying to rebuild or put back together or build just another tower for yourself and um, rebuilding is here there are, there are some challenges this is so strange there are challenges but there's something with telepathy with getting um messages through telepathy about reunion or getting together with wise people friends family wise people the magician saying you can do it all there's absolutely nothing that you can't do yeah so that's what i've got for you guys just a short reading today but if you would like a private reading then you can hit me up with that like and subscribe bye aries